USA International in Tour Mods. This is not a track I am very good at. But before that, here's a reminder, this Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm hosting a race at Twin Ring Motegi with the Xfinity cars. It's going to be a longer race, 90 laps. Cautions are on, double file restarts, no fast repairs. I'm going to run it like a B-Open Series race. But we're going to have a fixed setup provided by Daniel. And we might make a couple tweaks to that, but the link to download that will be in the description if you want to get some practice in. Should be a lot of fun. Just come and race with us. Have fun. Don't worry about being fast or anything. Um, get some practice in. Get a feel for the track. It's tricky. It's very unique. It's a really awesome track, though. Just be careful on corner exit. It can get pretty loose. Two different corners. But here we are. I'm car number five, starting in eighth. We got 70 laps. This is bound to be a mess. Had over 60 people sign up for this, as well as the SK race. Over 60, which is, I think, the most we've had. I I think we've had a couple in the 50s for the SKs, but Tour Mods is usually not that high. And USA is always really messy, being a free track, and it's tight. Sharp corners, a lot of wrecking. All right, man. So we're just going to hopefully man. survive up here, starting mid-pack. That was not a very good start. Green, green, green. But we didn't miss the shift. Right. But I'm sure we're going to have plenty of more opportunity yeah, one to miss those as the race goes on. All clear, all clear. Slot in behind the 14 of Dylan. He said hi before the race. Good luck to him. We're just going to try and be smooth. I'm just... I, I get so slow in the center, the car just stops turning. And I cannot figure out how to get it to rotate. You got one outside. Dylan got kind of wide there, but... We got space behind us. I overdrive the corner. We're all kind of stacking up, and Dylan catches the apron. Just trying to be careful right now. It's a long race. They're racing pretty hard behind us, so slotting in single file here should get us a bit of a gap. Trying to be patient on entry, not blow through the corner tendency to try and dr drive it in deep with these because of how much tire you have. It's not always the play. We got Go a high. wreck. All right, man. Oh. Caution is out. Caution is out. Line up single file. Pit road is closed. Pass the 12. Pass the let the 14. Car by. Let Sorry for getting 14. into you there, Dylan. I, I tried to check up. I didn't see it in time. Pass the 15. Pass the Pass Got into a little bit. I don't think we got a 0x or well, anything for that. Was but that the was a big wreck. Surprised nobody, no back. nobody uh, behind us hit us. All of that. I was just riding right behind Tell Dylan, and uh, saw the guy wrecking, and then we all kind of just stopped. He bounced uh, he up off the wall, the wall. Right, up into traffic, and now we're in sixth. Maybe. Well, it was a good 11 laps tonight. Oh, that got Joe again. It's not your night. It's like my last week. At least you got half races in. I haven't even made 10% yet. <laughs> that is true. I got a little bit luckier than you did last week. That sucks. Tough night for Joe. He got wrecked out in the SK race as well. Oh, now we are in sixth. Um, looked like a lot bigger pileup than just two cars. We were sitting in eighth there. Maybe we were in ninth. I'm not sure. But still a long way to go. Kyle in the 13 back there. Mitch is up there winning the thing. Always really fast. Fun racing with him. Daniel and JP back there racing with Nick. They're both in front of Nick. Wonder how that happened. Nick. <laughs> I ran like a 19.8 for my qual time, and Nick in the practice before the race ran like a 19.7, like almost a tenth faster than me. So then I ran a 19.8 here, which was about my best time in both the practice and qualifying. And then he ran a 20.1, so I don't know what happened in his qual, but definitely have to check that section of his video out. See what he did. Maybe got a little loose trying to get too much out of it. But he's going to try and beat Daniel back there. And it looks like JP 
be a good race back there, all three of those guys. And hopefully up here we can all be safe and not get involved in anything crazy like we just saw. I don't know anyone up here besides Dylan, well there's Shane I guess in the 10 car, and Mitch, those three guys, the other... Brad seems familiar, maybe I've been, we've raced with him, I'm not sure. I cannot, cannot remember. I don't recognize the four though. All right. Ready. Let's be calm. Let's not miss a shift. Let's ease into the corner. The Hopefully, car, Mitch goes a little bit early. Separate us out a little bit. Not too early. Green flag, hey, we green get flag. it in a second. Yeah, one inside. Too fast through the center. I kind of pushed up. Trying to slot in behind Dylan, but the 12 car's there, they so I can't really do that yet. They oh, and they're spinning. We all had to check up. Sorry about it, man. They high? They all save it. We get back going. Everyone was being really nice there. Oh, and the four turns down and hits the 10 car. We're all stacked clear up low, here. Clear low. I get the Inside. clear call, but I can't really slide in yet. Still there. And now we're stuck on the outside Stay again. High. Whoa! Still there. Ten pushed up. Kind of shoved me out of the way. Should be able to clear, clear 15 low, clear and then low. slot in line. Almost overdrove the corner and ran in the back of him. Pretty good run. Not really there to make a pass yet, though. Ooh, and he's tight through the center. It's going to be really hard to make a pass if he's stopping on the apex like that. Outside. And we get a tap and then clip Clear the apron. High. Clear high. And that sends us to the back. I don't think uh, him tapping me sent me to the apron. I think I did that on my own. But another, nevertheless, we are back here now. At least we didn't wreck. That's not what we wanted. Nick is all the way back in 14th. Can I get the car to turn on exit? Long race still. See if we can make up any of these positions. We may just not have the speed. I'm not good here. I just overdrove turn one massively. Just be calm. We got JP up here in front of us. He's not going to do any crazy blocking maneuvers, so we don't have to worry about that. I'm sure he'll let us go if we get a good run on him. Let's not put it in the wall, though. I'm struggling just to keep up right now. Yeah, with the guy tapping me there, I don't think, like, he shouldn't have tapped me because I, I couldn't go anywhere with the guy in front of me, but I don't think that sent me to the apron. I think I did that by myself. The 12 car in front of me was just stopping on the apex, and I had to check up. And, of course, checking up like that in the middle of the corner, you can't get a run off to get underneath them really tough. I don't know how in the world we're going to make a pass here. I am not fast. Some contact up ahead maybe. Daniel or JP might be outside. Let me try and get by him here. Still there? Still Appreciate that. You didn't need to do that. All clear, uh, all clear. Thank you. Oh, and there's contact up ahead. Go high. Maybe he sensed Car that was coming. Caution is out. Caution is out. Line up single and we scoot Secure by there and get behind Daniel. Car just by. barely. Have to let the 11 by. I think got some damage in that. It's a 16. Car. Let the 11 Might work our way by. back up to the top five. I'm not sure. Hopefully it puts us ahead of JP. We 
Got around them before we got there. Hey, 14, was that you? I brought them on corner exit. Okay, That's uh, pitting. Car. Very good, we're behind Daniel still. Pit road is now a couple more free spots from a wreck. We're okay though. We have a 1x in this race. Car. I'm really sorry. I'm sucking these cars. I don't know where the nose is apparently. I don't know where the nose is, or the right sides, or the left sides. Don't really worry about where the rear car, rear of the car is. <laughs> yeah, we have one X, 50 laps to go. I'm in ninth. Gonna be on the inside of Daniel. Hopefully we can sneak underneath him and not overdrive the corner into his side. Work our way back up to the uh, 13 in the t 12 car. Not sure who got into the back of us. Maybe it was one of those guys that wrecked. I don't think it was Kyle. And the 12 was the guy I was behind. Maybe it was one of the guys in the wreck. 15 maybe? I can't. I don't know. I don't remember. But we're almost back to where we were. Three more positions and we'll be... We were in sixth, I think. Knocking on the door for a top five. A lot of pace laps here for some reason. Still not even at the two to go. What the heck? Don't forget about that hosted race. Saturday, this Saturday, April 16th, 7 p.m. Eastern. In the announcement video, I, I said 6 p.m. Eastern, but I went ahead and moved that back an hour. Some people were telling me to do. Figured that would be no problem. Password is G Twin, all lowercase, all one word. It's gonna be 37 available slots, and it should be really fun. I hope we can get a nice clean race, get a long, a couple long green flag runs. Hopefully, we're bound to have a couple of cautions, but running green flag laps there is gonna be super fun. It's a really wide track. The, the racing line isn't, but hopefully with it being as wide and all that space, we won't get too much of an issue. But yeah, that when, when I clipped the apron there, I'm really glad I didn't just spin or overcorrect into the wall and then take out people. And then I got into the grass, I'm glad I didn't spin coming out of that as well. Overall, we were pretty lucky there. I think we were just so slow through the center and then I tried to turn down a little bit or the car just went left a little bit more than I expected. I clipped the apron getting back on the gas and it just got it sideways. Alright man, we're going green next time by. Alright man, line up on the inside row. Now we're right behind Kyle. Maybe Nick was back there just trying to avoid all the wrecks. I've managed to avoid all of them so far. I ran into the back of Dylan for that one, but we didn't get any contact or damage, I don't think. It's like my left front tire jumped up his ready. right rear. Let's see what we can do here. We've gotta be patient entering the corner. We're gonna have a guy on our outside. Get a good restart. Green flag, green flag. Stuck right behind Kyle. Can't go anywhere. Got one outside. Get on the inside of Daniel. Stay low, there's a car on the high side. Should be able to clear him, I think. Still there. All clear, all and clear. And we do. And now we're single file again. And I'm hitting the wall. Kyle went a little bit wide, but I'm not on his inside yet. Or he's letting yeah, me go. Outside. Hopefully Still I don't there. clip the apron. I did. That screwed me up. Stay low. Dive it in deep just to get away all from the clear, apron. Alright, all thank you. I'm glad I'm number five of this race and not number one or two. Especially with me struggling for speed. 
Might be able to get around the 12. They're racing up there for the lead, it looks like. Pulling a gap on Daniel at the moment. Hopefully he doesn't put it in the wall this race. Doing a good job so far. I almost put it in the wall really hard there. I can't see the wall when the guy's right in front of me and then these right sides jut out so far anyway. Very trickery. Trickery. Try and get a run, but every time I enter high to turn down, the car just stalls up there and pushes really bad on exit. I think we can, I think we're definitely faster than the 12, but I don't know how we're going to be able to get around them. But I'm not faster than the 12 if I overdrive every corner. That's for sure. Stuck here in 7th at the moment. There's like a bump in the middle of the straightaway. Keeps trying to send the car to the right, right before corner entry, which is kind of scaring me. That felt like a better entry. He missed the bottom a little bit. Get a good run through the corner. Not good enough. Look to the inside, but I got nothing at the moment. Big gap to JP. Well, go really missed outside. the corner, or he's trying to let me go, or something. Go there, hold your line. I don't think we made contact. Stay low. There's a car on the high side. Trying to be smooth on high. entry. Okay, we get around him. Let's see if we can catch up to Shane. Not put it in the wall. We could go green to the end here. We seem pretty calm all the way through the field. It's not a halfway. The car is super tight. I might back the brakes up. I don't know if that would help though. Not really using brakes through the center. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I should start using brakes more. Now I overdrive it completely. Do an okay drive off though. I don't know what happened to Nick. I don't know why he's so far off. I thought with his practice time he'd be up here. Maybe he got some damage. Always watch his videos, I'm sure. I'll figure out why. Or I'll see why. We are not catching Shane. The car is just so tight through the center and it just continues to not turn throughout the entire corner. Really hurting that right front. can't really get on the gas soon enough or hard enough to get the car sideways through the center to yaw it out and get that right rear hotter so we're just kind of driving off the right front looks like a lap car coming up oh turn one and two is the worst not as tight in three and four. Lap car goes low, but he's on the apron, thankfully. He stays there. Thank you, whoever that was. Yeah, thank you to the lap car there. That was good. Always scary when they go low, but if they stay below the, the apron, that's perfectly fine. We are not catching Shane. 
just overdriving the corner massively. And every time I don't overdrive it, I just I seem just as slow. I just don't know the line around here. Definitely not whatever this is. I get some the 1.1. Point two. He's just pulling away from me. 1.3 behind us. He's kind of stuck in this bubble. Two guys in front of him are racing pretty close. Maybe there'll be some contact there. That's Dylan and the four car. Let's not clip the apron again if we can help it. Shane's actually about to catch up to the four car. But I have nothing. This is not my track. I always tend to struggle for pace here. I'm not sure why. But if anybody up here gets to racing, that could pull, pull us in a little bit closer. And there's always a chance of somebody putting it in the wall, pushing too hard on exit. Can't just, I just can't get the car to rotate. I'm trying to dive it in a little bit deeper, I don't think that's gonna help. We're steady at 1.2 now. We are just stuck. We got nothing. We have 20 laps to go. 20 laps to go. Only hope, I think, is some sort of incident up there. Somebody put it in the wall and making contact, trying to get underneath somebody. So I do not think we got any chance of catching them. Big gap behind us to JP, three and a half seconds. One point three been pretty consistent with Shane in the last like fifteen laps. Don't put it in the wall though. I'm putting a lot of wheel in it. I think that's probably hurting a lot. 1.4 now. Try moving the brakes back as far as I can go. 55%. Doubt it's going to help much. But it might. Heavy traffic now up there. I wonder if they caught a couple lap cars that I didn't notice. Thank you. They seem to be pretty good at getting out of the way, though. Hi, man. 15 again. Man. He was the guy that went to the apron the first time. Another guy up there going wide. Hopefully, 15 gets out of the way. Got not much straightaway outside. speed, but he does get out of the way. Thank you to him. And it sticks on my outside for a long time. But we get by him clean.
1.5 to Shane. Alright man, that car is a lap down. 11 car up here is going to lap down. Look like Shane cut the wall there. But I don't think it hurt him. It's just tough to pass. The four is still behind Dylan. Shane behind all three of them. If the guy doesn't give you the inside, it's really hard to get around him. Unless you give him a bump, which I don't like to do anyway. Let me go with the line. Imagine Mitch is still up there winning, but I'm not sure. That felt a little bit better, but it's not any faster than what we've been doing. Well, one pulls up out of the way. Thank you to all him. Clear, all clear. Appreciate that. Catch the apron on entry a little bit. Oh, a big wreck in front of us. All right, man. Caution is that out. is, is out. Dylan that file. just got taken Zero out. Quote. The by the and four car. car. The car. Is that going to end the race? I think we're going to get another restart. That's unfortunate. Don't know how that happened. I guess the four got tired of sitting behind him. I don't know. We'll have to see. That puts us top five. Which is perfect. We are going to be on the inside here. But the car is going to be so pushy on exit, I don't know if we're going to be able to get any run on anybody. That was unfortunate. I imagine we will go green again, though. Was that the third caution? I believe. Car, 11. Got the lucky dog. Let 11 who just got lapped. Let the, the lucky dog. Car by. He had the position when the yellow flag came out. I got worried for a second. I left that race announcement picture up in the middle of the screen throughout the whole thing. Thankfully, it's off the screen. <laughs> this is going to be a tricky way to end it. Hopefully, we're all clean up here. It's going to be super tough. Super tough. I can check and see if that SK mod race is HD now, though. And release that. Oh, yeah, we need to try and cool the tires down, don't we? Forget. Okay, that race is HD. We got a couple more laps here. I'm gonna go up here and cool the tires down even more. And hopefully, release this video without hitting the wall. Should have been doing this at the start. But I think this definitely will help. And that video is out now. Don't know what the tire temperatures are, but... I imagine they're pretty high. Pit road is closed. I'm glad we're starting on the inside. Might be able to get a couple extra positions because of that. Maybe, maybe one, maybe zero. But it's going to be a lot better than starting on the outside, where we'd probably lose a couple. JP's in seventh. Nick is in ninth. He got around Daniel who's in 10th. That'll be a fun race to watch. I'm trying to go to the outside to uh, cool the tires down, but we're coming to the grid, so just stick down here. I was going to cut them off. Alright, man, we're going green next time. Bye. Alright. Line right. up on the inside row. Can we survive? Let's be nice and safe. We lose 6th to Dylan, 
somehow that's fine hopefully there's no ridiculous wreck up in front of us we got JP behind us who's not gonna throw it up three wide and we've we pulled away from him pretty far in that run so not too worried about the people behind us get ready just focus on what's ahead of me all right man Eight Mitch is actually man. not in the lead we get a really good run there. We're on the inside of Shane. He's going to back out of it. Car pushes really bad, but they're too wide behind us. That's going to get us space. Coming to the white flag. They're still too wide behind us. Your fourth flag. Actually got speed on the four, but I don't think there's any way we're going to be able to get around him before we get to the checkered. And he is like stopping on entry. But heck yeah, we're going to come away with fourth. I will take that. Good win. There's the flag, man. It's over. Thanks. Good race, everyone. I can't believe he beat Mitch. Thought he had that one in the bag. It is. Yeah, good race up here from what I saw. I don't know what Thank happened with the four Appreciate there. It. That was fun though. Yeah, good win, Brad. Good race to everyone. Nick winds up getting seventh. JP sixth. Daniel in ninth. So Nick does beat Daniel after all that. I'm glad we made it up to fourth. That makes me really happy. Um Glad we got around Shane there. He was stuck on the outside, and I was hoping that would happen. If I had stayed in sixth for that uh, caution at the end, we would have been in trouble, I think. Purple car. He's going to hit the wall really hard, and that's what causes the first wreck. He alt F4s. That hits, sends the nine. Tracy, nowhere for him to go. I mean, he's on throttle he gets on the brakes and he's can't do anything there and then they get into it Joe oh did Joe get the guy after he alt F4 that's gonna suck there's his YouTube channel oh man that sucks Joe <laughs> he alt F4 but the prediction code Still thought he was on the track, and you can't even see him, and he gets contact, and that sends him to the inside wall. That sucks. Really unfortunate there. Nothing he can do about that. And then the 11. Just running up there, tapping Joe a little bit. Let's see how I got through that. I cannot believe that Joe ran into the guy that wasn't even on track anymore. So I make a little bit of contact with Dylan there, but we don't even get a contact or a 0x for that, so it didn't seem to hurt us at all. Something crazy happening up here with Brad. Does he clip the apron and get loose? No, he just gets a little tap from Shane. And they're trying to check up, and then that stacks the whole field up. Luckily, we're on the outside of all this, so we don't get bottlenecked on the bottom. We all keep it good, though. We're going fine. Almost three wide there. Oh, the 15 and the 17 coming together. That's going to be a caution. That was after I... Oh, and 17's not happy about that. That was after I hit the apron and almost spun, I think. Let's check out what that was about. So I'm in the back behind JP here. So we're all stacked up here on the bottom, trying to get a good run. The 12 is really slow through the center, and yeah, I just came down in front of the 15, clipped the apron, got loose. Luckily didn't spin out, especially getting back on the track after going into the grass. And then this wreck happens right in front of us. We go around the outside. They're not happy with each other. I'm getting, I've gotten around the 12 at this point. He gets it into the wall hard. That's how we get a lot of time on him. 
Mitch is back here trying to get around Brad, and he's going to tap the wall and almost climb it. 14 is going to hit the wall hard. Oh, and that's what caused that other wreck. Oh, that was the last caution. I thought the four made contact with him or something, but, uh, you know, Dylan just hit the wall. Unfortunate for him. But yeah, Dylan just pushed out of the wall. I was really afraid that I would end up doing that at some point in the race. But thankfully, we keep it clean. We get a 1x, finish fourth. Happy with that. That was a good race with everybody. Everyone was pretty clean. And yeah, I will take it.